Wait, if, if she comes along, she's just going to have to um, um, come along. So let's start, otherwise the day uh, carries on. So camera off, sound off. While well, your camera's off, sound off. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, run through this again. So make sure that what if you do have something that is flexible in your arm, make sure it's not um, tight. It shouldn't be tight. If it gets too tight, it's, you know, because of the nerve running and we are working the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is below our skin everywhere. So we don't want to be squeezing anything. Um, and that's why I have like something loose but weighty. Um, and that's literally for, for that one shoulder that goes up. The other thing is the clip. Follow with your hand, your ears to the top. So I kind of make like a triangle with my with my hand and where you feel your fingers are joining, put that clip there. And this is so that we can pull attention to this side as well, where we want to grow, where we want to push up. As long as we have something there, um, then we have a reference of where we should go. Because today we're going to do a lot of uh, shoulder work. Um, so a lot of extensions as well. The extensions are very important that we, we do focus on doing them correctly. Um, so again, I'm going to repeat, just quickly revise. When we do the extension, um, what the intention is that we, that we create that intention before we start. So the extension is literally, remember to when we start, we fix on a point where you have your site right now. So you fix on that point, and when we do the extension, it's literally just looking over as if that's a wall, looking over that spot, and then coming back to that spot, but try to stay tall. So as soon as you look over that spot, the head is going to tilt up, but not back, right? So we're just going to tilt up, but when we try and keep our chest high. Sorry, I have, this is like attached to the bra, so I'm going to have to kind of uh, bring it back. <laughs> Adventurous. Yay, look, I have a cake. <laughs> Superwoman today, <laughs> flying everywhere. I know, Superwoman's blue and, yeah, blue and red, but I'm wearing blue, it's fine. I just need to S. <laughs> Okay, the other thing, um, normally, uh, you guys already know that, um, uh, well, you know that um, I sometimes tell you to suck the bra strap in, especially when it's uh, level one, uh, level two, so to the two beginners levels, and then intermediate level one. But now we're intermediate level two, so we're moving up. So I would say leave your bra strap where it is, and I actually uh, um, chose this top because sitting right where my ribs are. So it's not it's not pressing at all, but I do, again, it's that attention that's there. So leave your bra strap down from now on, unless you feel I need to extend. Then I leave that up to you, because now you know what your capabilities are, you know what you can and cannot do, and what you need. You're gonna feel, no, 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 I need to, I need to push it in, because today I'm a little bit weaker, because it is adding on a little bit, and it does make our ribcage work a little bit harder, which is what, that's what we want to do. Okay, we're going to start, sorry, I have my cheat sheet here, because today it's um, a pretty focused class. Okay, so, uh, feet hip width apart, and you guys know I always say, um, check your feet, check your feet, always check your feet, always repeat that. That one foot that tends on turning out. Knees bent, check your posture. So let's revise. Check the posture, make sure that you're not arching too much or pulling in too much. And what I want you to do is roll your shoulders. I'm going to make it a little bit closer. So we're going to literally try and create an arch, the biggest arch possible for our shoulders going back up forward, neutral, okay? Again, with the other one, back, up, forward, neutral. 
So each one of them, we're going to do that 10 times and then we're going backwards. So let's go with the right one. One, the other one, two, whoop, three, stop. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that happens. <laughs> Technology. And three, four, five, six, seven. So all of them go forward. I think that's nine and ten. Now we do the same thing. So we're searching. And, and try and feel, go, go for where it stretches, to the point where it's actually stretching and maybe you, you start heating up your body as well. Now we're going to roll forward, literally go back. And we're looking for that maximum range of movement, okay? Let's go uh, backwards, roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. So first we're going to go down. And this is harder because you actually have to keep your body still and really push down. So this side, the, those little wings, they're going to activate. And that's really good. Okay, so down, back. Other one down. Down. I think that's four, five, six, seven, eight. It's hard to keep your body still. Nine. Especially going faster, but we're trying to activate those muscles so that we can pull them out. Again, do the same thing. So we're in back. Now we're going to go forward. So I'm going to turn this. No, it's better so you see this. <laughs> a little cape. <laughs> so it's back, four, back, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you should feel as soon as you push down that um, that was activated. Okay. We're going to start with the breath work, so we're going to breathe in, pull the shoulders up. Pinch, 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 pinch. Breathe out, drop your jaw, and pull your hands down. And breathe in, and pull up. Notice that little irritation on that arm where you have, you know, the object. And breathe out, and try and push that side down harder. And breathe in. Ah, huge breath and breathe out. Slowly breathing out. And breathe in. Pinch, 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 pinch. And breathe out. Pull down, pull down, pull down. Even if the fingers go down. And breathe in. Hold it for a second, drop your jaw, and wiggle, actually, like really wiggle and push your shoulders down. Okay, I'm going to open our sides a little bit because sometimes we do get rigid and it prevents us from standing tall. So, with your feet parallel, now I want you to lock your left foot, your left knee. Lock that knee. Put your right foot over the left one. Okay, so this knee is going to be bent, obviously, the right knee. The left knee is like super locked. Right? More locked is impossible. If I stand back, you can see it better. Now, the left hand, because the left leg is behind, the left hand goes up. And then you grab the left wrist with your right hand. So the hand faces up and it's faced to the wall. The wall. And then from here, your hip starts moving. To the left while you are pulling to the right. You should feel that that whole side is opening and grab, really pull with that right hand and try and relax the left shoulder as well so that whole side is going to open up. 
come back up slowly. Swap feet. Now first again, we stand firm, knee bent. Then we lock the right knee. We put the left one over, the right one. So they right, the feet are parallel right next to each other. Okay, so that creates that right, causes that right leg stretch completely. Then the right hand goes up, the left hand grips the right wrist. Now the hips move outward and pull, 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 pull. And your head should follow your, oh, your back, your spine. Release, concentrate on releasing the right side and pulling with the left hand here. And try and actually push that hip out further and then come back up slowly. Let's go to Venus. So knees bent, take your feet, da 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 da. Hips up straight, stand tall. Now you can feel your shoulders are a little bit looser and more relaxed inside as well. Let's go into Venus so the elbows go out. Push your shoulders down. Check stick your elbows, check where they are. Stick your fingers if they're not going in. Those fingers should follow a straight line from your arm. You can, if you want, first lock your elbows and then give it a slight bend, right? And then breathe in. Feel your ribcage expand. Hold it for a second. Breathe out. Super slowly. Push your shoulders down. Maybe you want to wiggle your head side to side. Breathe in again. And drop your jaw, breathe out. Super slowly, stand nice and tall. Feel that clip in your head. And breathe in again. And as you breathe out, feel that shoulder, that arm that has the object, and that shoulder pushes down a little bit harder than the other one. Breathe in again. Ribcage expanding and breathe out. Shoulders pushing down and breathe in again. Hold it for a second. This time I'd like you to open your jaw so wide that it's at that first yawn in the morning that feels so good that your jaw stretches. Feel those muscles stretch when you breathe out. And breathe in again. Just expanding, drop your jaw, and again we do the yawn. Feels like you want to dislocate your jaw actually, stretches the whole jaw area. Breathe in again. And again the yawn. Give me a little vacuum. And change your arms to Aspinaya. On breathing out. And breathe in. Fingertips up to your nose, remember that. And as you breathe out, notice that trap, that object on your arm, and push your shoulders down. And breathe in again. And as you breathe out, you push your head up towards that object on your head. Little back here. And breathe out. So remember, don't forget during the vacuum um, to focus on those spots, okay? So keep focusing on those spots and try and push it down a little bit more. While you're doing that vacuum, um, try less to concentrate on the vacuum because by now we do dominate it and we do know how to do it. What I'd like you to focus on is try and pull your, push your head up and push that 
that shoulder that depends on going up, pushing that down a little bit harder. Take a sip of water, take a sip of tea if you have. And we're going to move directly into extension. Starting from Venus, you now it irritates me. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. So as soon as you feel that it's pressing, move it, okay? So let's start in Venus again. Check your elbows, and they should be going out to the outer walls. And try and actually reach the walls with your elbows, and then have your hands follow your arms. So elegant, very long, try and keep your fingers together. I have my pinkies that tend on going out. <laughs> Human. <laughs> right, so we're going to go through the extensions this time. Breathe in. Drop the jaw. Feel our relaxed faces. Maybe move your head a little bit. Push your shoulders down. Breathe in again. And drop your jaw. Shoulders down. And breathe in. And drop your jaw. Vacuum and extend. Breathe in and breathe out. Just in case you forgot the extension, the hands go up, the fingers pull down to the floor, shoulders go down. Look over that spot that you have and come back. But when you come back, only the hands come back. The vision goes to the spot where the chest stays high. Okay? Let's do that again. So Venus, we're going to swap. So we're going to go from Venus, lower hands, to the extension. And then we're going to go Venus mid hand extension, which is a little bit harder, but we do need to create a little bit of strength in those arms. Okay? We can speak again. Breathe in, feel the pressure, and as you breathe out, push those shoulders down, elbows go to the sides, trying to reach the walls, elegant hands bring this together. And breathe in again. And drop your jaw, push up towards that object on your head. And extend, vacuum extension. And drop your jaw. And breath in. And breath out. Push it slowly. And breath in. And breath out, mid arms. And breath in. And breath out. Vacuum extension. I know it's harder. We're going to go for one more and breathe out. Breath in and breath out. And back in extension. And breath out, come to the air with your arms. Oh, what a relief, huh? <laughs> so again, this was hard to do. So we're trying to actually have the shoulder, not the shoulder muscles, but the arm muscles start working so the shoulders don't pull up. So this transition that we're creating with the upper one, right? So now that we have the arms in Atenea, push those shoulders down and focus on that arm that you have with the object. How we call it the object arm. <laughs> okay, and breathe in. Ribcage opening and breathe out. 
shoulders down, even if you have to wiggle them. Firm legs, breathe in. Fingertips up to your nose, breath out. Open that jaw. Vacuum and extend. And breath in, and breath out. Shoulders down, grow up towards that object in your head. Breath in, and out. Shoulders down, vacuum extend. Breathe in and as you breathe out, bring your hands to up to your shoulder height. Careful that they don't go too high. We tend on, on trying to, to fly a little bit high or have the elbows up. The elbow shouldn't be going up, the elbow should be where the shoulder uh, where the shoulder height is. Um, even just a little bit lower. Okay? And that kind of if you have it a little bit lower than the shoulder, then the shoulder wants to actually follow the hand as well. Hands goes in, but elbows keep pushing out. As soon as you try and push them out, you're going to feel that stretch underneath, right? Palms are literally trying to push as if somebody, something is closing in and you're trying to push it away. Shoulders down and breathe in. And drop the jaw. Grow the top of your head and shoulders down and breathe in. And out. Vacuum and extend. And, and breathe out. And breathe in. And out. Shoulders down, shoulders down, the object arm further down a little bit, and in, push up through the crown of your head, and out, vacuum and extend. And come to Venus again. <sighs> Today we're really working on. You want to take a sip of water or tea? Then do that now. Because we are going to the next one. We're going to go from Venus to Atenea to extension. Sliding back into Venus. Just a little heads up of what we're going to do. Right, we're going to do the quick version just to show you and to guide you and then we're going to do it together. So from Venus, always checking again, we're going to do inner vacuum, Atenea, extend, come back, Atenea, Venus, breathe in and then again push down those shoulders, okay? Let's try that. I'm sweating today. <laughs> this is good. We're working today. Yeah. Preparing that shoulder for that beach look on, on beautiful posture on the beach. Hey, that sounds good. Beautiful posture on the beach. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Venus. So elbows out. Oh, those stinkies, those stinkies. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Breathe in. Check the posture this time. First we check posture. As we breathe out, shoulders go down. Strong legs and breathe in. And out and push up through the object. 
upon your head and that other shoulder goes down a little more. And breathe in again. And out, super slow. Here we go. Vacuum, Atsuneya, extend. And out. Come to Atsuneya. Now we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to do Atsuneya. Venus, extend, Atenea. I wonder why it's stopping the whole time. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to go Atenea, Venus, extend, swish inward. When we do the swish inward, try and pull your fingertips back. Okay, that movement for those nerves so that we can create more space. So there's a, a lot of movement going on, but we're trying to go for maximum range of movement. The same that we did with the shoulder rolls, that we go for the maximum range of movement. The same thing, that's where the benefit comes in. Okay? So Atenea, get your posture right, and breathe in. And out, and then push your shoulders down. Fingertips up together and breathe in and this time push up through the crown of your head to the object push that other shoulder down a little bit more and breathe in now we're ready and breathe out vacuum venus extension And to Venus. Ah, really pull those elbows out. And breathe in. Knees bend and out. Push your shoulders down. Lift through the crown of your head. And breathe in. And breathe out. Push that other shoulder down a little bit more. Okay, perfect posture now, strong legs, breathe in. And this time breathe out super slow. Again, vacuum, atene extension. Breathe in, as you breathe out, come to Atenea. And shoulders go down. And breathe in. As you breathe out, push up through the object in your head. Hand that other shoulder goes down a little bit more. And breathe in. And breathe out. Vacuum Venus extension. And as you breathe out this time, we come into Artemisa. That's the one where we start hinging from the hips. Remember, straight back, straight back, straight back. And the base of the palms on the crease of your upper leg. And pull those shoulders to your waist. Really activating. Even, even the lat starts activating grow through the crown or through that object that you have on your head. You're trying to get to the other side of that object on your head. So remember that shoulder with the object, push that little, little further down and breathe in. And as you breathe out, give me that yawn again.
and breathe in. And again, the yawn. And breathe in. This time, just breathe out normal and super slow. Push the shoulders down. Push up through the crown of your head and back in here. Breathe in and as you breathe out, slide your hands down, start extending as if you, your head wants to push that object over to the wall and then to the ground, okay? So start extending, pushing that object, pushing that object, pushing that object, more, 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 slide to up towards your knees and look at your perineal area. The hands are still in, okay? Shoulders to your waist. That other shoulder goes down a bit more and breathe in. Keep looking at your perineal area. And vacuum. And breathe out. As you breathe out, shoulders go to your waist, fingertips up. And breathe in. As you breathe in, push up through your scapula. And breathe out and extend with the crown of your head. Shoulders go to your waist. And vacuum. Breathe in and as you breathe out, slide your hands down your legs, down your legs, down your legs until you hang a little bit. And breathe in. Loosen your head. Loosen your shoulders. Keep them away from your ears. And breathe in. And give me that yawn again. And really pull that jaw. Really stretch those jaw muscles. And breathe in. Now touch the floor with your fingertips and turn your fingertips in with your elbows out. Shoulders go to your waist. And breathe in. And drop your jaw. Look to your perineal area. And vacuum. And breathe out. Breathe in again. And slowly breathe out. Look to your perineal area again. Shoulders away from your ears. And vacuum. Breathe in, as you breathe out, you put your hands back on your legs and you start pushing up with your hands until you're above your knees again. So we go to, this is Atamita with, Atamita with an extension. We go back to Atamita with an extension. Let's go through that posture again. So fingertips up to your nose, elbows out, shoulders pushing down to your waist. Your head extends through that object you look to your perineal area and you push up through the upper scapulas. Remember those shoulders are not going to your ears and breathe in. And as you breathe out, you push up through those scapulas. And vacuum. And as you breathe out, you come up even higher to the first position of Atamita. 
which is in the crease of your legs. Shoulders pushing down, straight back, grow and push that object away from your head, shoulders to your waist. Try and actually have them super, super hard. Really activate those little wing muscles. And breathe in and out. And push those shoulders down a little bit more. And breathe in. If you need to, bend your knees a little bit more, strong legs. Turn back in. Breathe in and as you breathe out, come up to standing position into Venus. Aha. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> we're going to do that one more time. Okay, so today I'm working a lot, but we did a good stretch now. Even though it's work doing Atamisa, it is quite a good stretch as well. So we get a bit of a relief, whole body relief there. Except the leg, the leg that's quite strong. So we're going to do the same thing. Check your feet. And then first we're going to do. Venus, Ateneya, extend, woo, palm, and then Ateneya, Venus, ex, uh, sorry, Ateneya, Venus, extend, and that pushes in the Venus again. All right. <laughs> that was the quick group. Go out to Venus, shoulders pushes down, stick your elbows, stick your hands and fingers together, and bend. Revise your posture from the heels up and breathe in. As you breathe out, push up through the crown of your head. Shoulders down, that other shoulder down a little bit more and breathe in. And out. Vacuum at the leg, extension. And as you breathe out, the arms come to Athenea. Push those palms down and pull those fingers up as much as you can. Elbows out and breathe in. As you breathe out, push those shoulders down. Activate those little wings. And breathe in again. This time, push up through the crown of your head. Pull that other shoulder down a little bit more. And breathe in last time. Drop your jaw. Super slowly. Vacuum Venus extension. And as we breathe out, we go to Venus. Let's give it one more go. And breathe in again. Take your posture, shoulders down, crown of the head up. Vacuum, Atanea, extension. And Satanea, shoulders down, and out, take your posture, vacuum, Venus, extension. Well done. That was a good workout. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you created some beautiful extensions there um, that you could actually feel the strength coming into your arms. And I'm pretty sure that you felt in the beginning it was very hard to 
do. It was heavy and hard. But in the end, it wasn't so hard because our body immediately started adjusting and it kind of, with the extension, the body started working the way it should. And that's why at the end, it starts kind of getting a little bit easier. If it wasn't, you'll get up there, you'll get up to the point where um, the movement starts getting easier. And remember, if you do want to practice at home, um, keep in mind that we're always trying to extend. So use an object <laughs> to help us. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.